Well, it was a long road that brought us to Milan, a very long and dramatic one indeed. But we're here now. Uh, we have our champion in waiting. What we need to find out is who's going to take the final sprint day after 178 kilometres. It's all about the laps at the end today. There's seven of them in all, and it's a whole sequence of nasty corners which could indeed become rather treacherous if we do get just a little bit of rain later on. We know who is in the blue jersey, Dan Lloyd, uh, but red's still up for grabs. Yeah, blue jersey as we expected going to Visconti uh, from Movistar, so job well done for he and the team. Aru safe and sound, as long as he even finishes within an hour and a half of the next person on the white jersey competition. And also Contador safe and sound in the pink. BMC are on a charge, Lamprey have decided to join the fun as well. This is a lot of work being done, Dan, and this is one of the action points of the day. And I think they've caught a few people off guard, just over one kilometre now until they reach that intermediate sprint point. Disappointment further back, Sky saying we haven't assembled ourselves, we weren't quite ready for that. My goodness, everybody else has just backed out of it. Uh, they, they've spoiled the party for some of the men who are bidding for that red jersey. My goodness, well, there we are, thank you very much. Richese lets him have it. Look at the faces of BMC, they, they've had, they, they've basically mugged the field. You think of Saxo have been allowed their time at the front of the peloton, it won't be long now before we see the first attack. Kaiser, first rider to attack from the main bunk, from Essex Quickstep. And that's worked out pretty well for Trek Maxley Racing so far. He hasn't had to put in a big, big sprint. <laughs> Lead up, man, just almost misguiding Nitsolo, who takes a rack of points. A little bit of an argument going on between Nizzolo and some of the Lamprey Marina riders, but I'm not sure exactly what's going on. Maybe Nizzolo of Trek Factory Racing had sort of had an agreement with Lamprey to leave the fight until the very last. They came up issuing lots of finger pointing, saying, You said you weren't going for it right now, and that's exactly what you've done. Basically, oh. it is these tram lines with 150 right metres to go, which are causing people to puncture. We saw Alafacci double puncture, we then saw Koenig, we saw Mezget, we now see Philippe Gilbert with a puncture. They're basically getting a, what's called a pinch puncture. The Bunks really has got some speed and momentum. They can't afford to sit up too much. Dermo has got to just go. He's got to just turn it on if he's going to have any chance here. Dermo goes down now. Dermo hits it. He's on the cobbles. Can Kaiser stay with him? Kaiser suddenly finds him, tries to drift. Oh, and he takes the lead, does he? He's in front. Ilya Kaiser is going to take a stage of the Giro. Oh, that's magnificent.